Hey guys, this is Kevin with Backyard Laser Tag. Today we're going to be going over your tagger. I'm going to show you how to get to referee mode, how to uh, change the settings on your tagger, and of course how to clone the rest of your taggers faster. That way you don't have to go through every tagger and clone them exactly the way you want. Alright? If you have any questions about this video, feel, feel free to give us a call. Hey guys, Kevin back here. So we're going to go over a few of these modes. First, we're going to learn how to switch to uh, from boot mode which is how you set up the actual tagger, how it shoots, and referee mode. So what you're going to do, hold down the red button, put your key in, turn it on, you'll see it's on boot mode. If you hit the black button, boot mode 2. Those are two different settings you can have it on. So if you have two, for, two different kinds of game modes that you want to switch to, that's how you're going to do it. We're going to hit the black button one more time and go to ref gun. When you want to select a mode, you're going to hit the trigger. Click it. You'll see referee controls. This is what I use for uh, operating the game. Uh, if the kids run out of bounds, I'll switch it over to like game over or something like that. So they come back and ha they have to revive. So to get into referee controls, all you can do again is click the trigger and you'll have all your options on here. And how you switch between those options is the black and the red button. So in game pause, all your options are right in here to do whatever you would like. And then if you wanna get back to the main menu, just go to main menu, click the trigger, you're back to referee controls. You can switch to post game controls, which is collect score, stuff like that. And then service controls is actually servicing your tagger itself. Okay. So we're going to go back to boot mode. So what we want to do is turn it off, hold down your red button. It's going to say ref boot mode ref gun. We're going to go to boot mode sport one and we're going to click the trigger. And of course it's going to make its loud noise. There we go. And it's ready. So from here, you have to turn it back off, hold down the black button this time. This is, uh, I'm showing you how to uh, change the settings on the actual sport mode. So we're going to hold down the black button this time, turn it back on, and it says edit sport one. We're going to enter that, click the trigger. Field A and field B are the actual uh, fields they're going to be on to interact with each other. We always stick ours on field A. Uh, if you have two different sets of taggers, you can put one set, like 14 sets of tag, uh, 14 guns, you can put one on field A. If you have another 14 set of guns, one on field B. That way they don't interact with each other. All right, so going past that, we're gonna click the trigger. Team Alpha, red team, I always put on Team Alpha, okay? Blue team, if you have a blue gun or if you have green and orange or whatever, whatever you wanna make them, you can put them on different teams just by clicking the button, okay? So this guy, we're gonna stick on Alpha. Then you would just go through, you can pick between what sounds it makes, whether or not you want the flash on when you shoot the trigger, Oop. Uh, whether or not you want friendly fire. Sometimes at the end of my games, I do every man for themselves with no respawn box. That way, if you only have like 10 minutes left, as the kids shoot each other and they're out, they bring you your taggers, you can turn them off and start putting them away. All right. Uh, life, you could set that whatever you'd like. Shields on and off, usually birthday boy or girl, I give the uh, shield on to give them a more advantage because it's their birthday. I always have it on unli unlimited clip unless it's an older crowd and they want to play more risk realistically. And then you would turn unlimited clip off and they actually have a set amount of ammo to pay based on what you set it at. I always keep it on for the kids though. Uh, you can choose their clip size, how many rounds they have, how fast they reload, whether or not they want burst fire, full auto, semi-automatic, anything like that. I always keep it on burst. How much damage they do, that goes with uh, the life. So if they have 100 life and you're doing 20 damage, it takes them five shots to bring down somebody. Okay? Uh, RPMs, just how fast you're shooting. Okay, so hit delay, I always put at 0.5, only because if you put that at zero or lower, uh, you're going, uh, they're not gonna have a chance to react. If it's at zero, they get shot, 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 they're out. This way, they get shot, and they can't get shot again for 0.5 seconds. That way they have time to react, move to cover. It's just more fun that way. If they get shot immediately, and they're immediately dead, it's less for the, fun for the kids, and they just kind of give up on the game. All right? Uh, you can choose whether or not you want them to overheat. So if somebody has a fully automatic tagger, you can choose if it overheats or not. Uh, max respawn, you can set that to whatever you want. So if you want to give them a set lives, that's the number of lives they'll have that they can respawn before it just doesn't do it anymore. It'll just give them game over. All right. Uh, you can do a death delay. I put it mine at zero only because I don't want it counting down till they die. I just want it to be 
instant. As soon as they receive their fifth hit, they're gone. They have to go back and revive. Uh, game time, you can set a game time on it. So if you have a big crowd and you're busy uh, talking to parents, talking up your business, you can actually set the game time on what they play. So if you want to set it to like 10, 15 minutes, and then all the taggers together will get game over. Uh, start delay, I just put it at zero. Only, that's only because uh, when you start up the gun, when you turn it on, it'll actually count down to when it's ready. I just put it at zero. I turn on the gun, pull the trigger. It's good to go. Then you want to go to save settings, save the settings. You're going to pull down the trigger and hold it, saving settings. Now you'll see it's at clone team A. So if I make my red taggers alpha team, I make them team A. So this is also going over cloning them. So you just set this one up however you like it. If you want them all the same, all you have to do is turn on your other taggers, make sure they're active, aim at their sensor up here, and then click your trigger and you'll see the light. Click, and they're cloned. They'll make the noise making it cloned. All right, so that's an easy way to clone them. You can also do these with your, uh, whatever color you have. We have red and blue. So if I wanted, uh, the, if this was a blue one, I would just click on the black button, go to clone team B, and clone those. Now you gotta remember, uh, you want to separate your two colors. If the reds are really close to the blue and the blues are really close to the red, and you click that trigger, they're all gonna be on the same team. You gotta watch out for that. All right. So, once we're done with that, we're just going to click through, go to exit by clicking the black or red button to get through the settings, and then you're going to hold down your trigger. And your tagger is ready. Alright guys, uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call. I hope you enjoyed this video.